It's Rubber Ducky here. Welcome back to episode 40 of the Axis campaign in Close Combat 2. Day 4 is well underway, and intense fighting has been taking place all morning. Check out the Axis campaign playlist to catch up on the previous battles. If you're not already subscribed, or if this is your first time here, click the subscribe button and follow the series as we halt the Allied advance on Arnhem. If you enjoy this battle and series, leave a like. Keep the comments and suggestions coming. I love hearing your thoughts and ideas. We're back at Arnhem Tree Road on day 4. It's 0600. In the last visit here, the Allies immediately accepted a ceasefire and no shots were fired. This time around, 9th SS Panzer Division is going to take the fight to them. It was suggested to maintain firing positions on the north side of the river, but also have some units hiding on the south side to take locations. We want to cause as much havoc for the Allies as possible, so that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we've got 22 points and a bunch of units already. We can't actually afford any tanks. That's fine, we don't really need them here. But I don't know if we even want to waste any resources taking additional units. We've got plenty to fight with. So I think we're just going to go like this. All right. Um, we need to find what units we want to have up top. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, instead of just having like one sniper or something down here, let's get... We have like four MGs or five. So let's bring the sniper down here. And I think we're even going to keep a couple machine guns down on the south side to help cover. And the reserve. We're going to bring the reserve, the sniper, and a couple machine guns. All right. Hide by the river. Machine gun. Panzer Shrek. We don't need. I took him. I don't think we're going to ever use him. So he can just hide in the back. Another machine gun. And then... Let's see. Yeah, here's the first one. All right. We'll put him up here too. And then this other machine gun, let's maybe just bring it down here with the reserve. I'm hoping, I know when I was trying to fight here as the allies, the Germans used the riverbank to uh, obscure my view of them. It was really hard to actually kill them. So we're going to start there with two guys on the riverbank. We're going to keep these two guys in the back, not let them shoot. And then um, hopefully we can draw fire to the north with these guys in the building. I think everybody's set and I think everybody is on hide looks pretty good all right they're already mortaring so that's not good they already know we're here um i guess they can see them so let's get these guys maybe yeah we already took a hit let's get these guys out of here um they can't reach that target all right move just south and now move east They still can't do it. All right. Get them way far away from the river. Oh, my gosh. Like, they should be far enough from the river. They can crawl. So we're going to move them up towards the two three-story buildings. And we're going to try and capture those points. Um, if we can hold that down, I'm okay taking a ceasefire. And then maybe we put more troops on the south side. Rifle... All right, machine gun, get him to move off the river. There's a rifle squad. I don't think there's anybody there. Okay, just keep crawling along the river. All right, we're not being shot at yet. I'm going to put these guys on defend. Um, they'll draw some attention. We've got a little bit of ammo in all of them. None of them are completely full. But 500 or 750 rounds, it looks like, is kind of stacked across the board. All right, there's a Vickers there. I don't think we can do much to him while he's in that building, but if we can keep him shooting... We can get these guys maneuvered over here and put some fire back in there up close. I'm going to start uh, advancing these guys, I don't know, maybe just a few trees at a time. But we're going to start moving them up. I don't want to let anybody know their positions here yet. And I don't want the sniper to start shooting. So I'm just going to get him in a place where he could shoot. And then I'm going to put him back on hide. Everybody's doing their thing. Okay, there's two squads in that brown single story. There's a Vickers and a rifle. You hide. 
MG42 is doing okay. Alright. We use some other ammo for a minute. It says we can actually do some damage to this rifle squad, so let's shoot at them. Okay. Move into the three story with the MG42. They do have a decent amount of infantry down there. Hopefully this wasn't a mistake. They could definitely kill us if they make a hard push. Alright, light them up. Grenades out. No hits, I don't think. Alright, the reserve's almost there. Target the rifle. Get inside. Alright, this MG42. Keep moving. Um, based on that mortar shot in the middle of the road, somebody knows we're here, but none of these guys above us seem to care. Alright, they pulled back to the train station a little bit. some grenades. Still don't think we got any hits. Alright. Sniper. He's got no ability to really hurt them in that three-story. Alright, we're going to keep moving this machine gun up. We lost one more of the reserve men in the three-story, so before we go all out, and keep taking casualties, we have to start evaluating that we've gotten a point, and we've got these buildings, and we've got some area opened up on the south, so we might just call it right now. We're still ahead of progress with 53 out of 40. We only killed two and lost two, but we did manage to capture some terrain and a victory location. So that's a good showing here. We don't really need to drive them out, but it is fun. I just need to keep it realistic and not throw all my men away for a vanity play. This is going to continue to develop, and I'm totally fine taking the four-hour ceasefire and trying it again. So let's see if there's anything exciting in the details. So it looks like Howard's team got two of the kills, and or I guess maybe just one that they shared. And they were the team that I had on the north side on the right edge of the building. And then um, we got one more kill with Yorling. He was manning one of the Mausers on the south side of the river in the three-story building. That's about all there is to see. We will watch this develop over the next counterattack and see if there are some moves that we can make to delay or destroy the Allied assault. In the meantime, click the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.